J is for Jesus, the sweetest story ever told by Crystal Bowman, illustrations by Claudine Gavry. One snowy day in the middle of town, families gathered from miles around. For something was new at the candy store, something that no one had seen before. The candy maker was eager to share his holiday treat with everyone there. He held up a red and white peppermint stick. The children all wanted to give it a lick. I made this candy, he explained that day. I shaped it to look like the letter J. J is for Jesus, God's son sent to earth. And Christmas is when we remember his birth. But when I turn the candy around to make the letter go upside down, it looks like a staff that the shepherds used. They were the first to hear the good news. As shepherds were watching their sheep that night, the sky was filled with heavenly light. Angels appeared and started to sing, Glory to God, our newborn King. And there in the town where Jesus was born, the shepherds found him all cozy and warm. Their hearts were filled with wonder and joy as they knelt beside the baby boy. I added the stripes to remember the day that Jesus washed all our sins away. He died on the cross his blood was shed. That's why the stripes are bold and red. The white on the candy is there to show that when we're forgiven, we're white as the snow. Jesus was born to save us from sin, to make us holy and clean within. I wanted to share this story with you so Jesus can be your Savior too. Please tell this story to everyone and give thanks to God for the gift of His Son. The End I hope you've enjoyed this story. J is for Jesus. Tell Grandma in the comments below, did you know the story of the candy cane? And tell me, do you eat the candy cane from the curved part, like the shepherd's staff? Or do you eat it from the straight part, like the top of the J? Grandma eats it both ways. <laughs> now give the story a big thumbs up and make sure you come back for more stories. Bye, Grandma.